In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your exercise shortcuts on the Fitbit Charge 5. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if you wake up your clock face and swipe to find the exercise app, you'll see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and only 6 exercise shortcuts that can be stored on your Charge 5 at any time. So if you want to change these or even remove some of these, these are the instructions you should follow. So you'll want to open your Fitbit app on your phone, and then you'll want to tap, be on your Today tab, and tap on the profile picture in the upper left-hand corner, and then go to Charge 5 in your list of devices and tap on it. And then you'll have to scroll down to Exercise Shortcuts, and then tap on that. And here you'll see the six exercise shortcuts that are loaded by default, and here it says, my Charge 5 is fully loaded. To add more activities, remove one above. So if you're on iPhone, you can tap this Edit button and then tap the little red circle there and then tap Delete. And then you can tap Done if you want to delete like that. And then you'll see here it says Plus Exercise Shortcut, which allows you to add another. On Android, um, you won't see this ed Edit button, but what you'll do is you'll swipe uh, to reveal this little delete button. So I think it's a little easier on iPhone to use the edit button, but just so you know, you can do that on Android. So let's say I want to get rid of treadmill, then I can just tap delete there. And so now I have two more activities. So I'll go ahead and tap exercise shortcut, and then these are the shortcuts that I can add. Unfortunately, you can't add any custom shortcuts. These are the only ones that you can add. So I'll go ahead and add walk, for example. Now let's say you want to change the order of these. Then on iPhone, again, you have this little edit tab. And then you'll go to these three horizontal bars and you'll hold on the side and then you'll drag to the top or whatever um, you know, order you want that exercise shortcut to be. On Android, I don't think there's an edit button, so I think you just press and hold and move. Um, so that's how you customize your exercise shortcuts. Um, you can also tap on these that have a little arrow here, so like walk, and you can tap here to turn showing laps, laps on to automatic or off. There might be some other settings. So for interval workout, you have a move interval, a rest interval, and then you can add and repeat up to however many times. So if I say edit, you can move, rest. Maybe you have to... Yeah, I'm not really sure why there's that add, because it seems like you can only have one move and one rest, so anyway. That is some of the limitations to that interval workout. And I'll show you on the device itself. Uh, it probably hasn't updated because you need to sync. So if I swipe over, oh, maybe it synced on its own. <laughs> so what you will need to do if that didn't sync on its own, you'll need to tap sync now. But you'll probably see up here, it said it was synced today at 12.08 p.m. So it did instigate a sync on its own. So I do see these uh, shortcut orders in my app on my watch. So you see the next one should be bike and then swim, weights, and interval workout. So you don't have to have all six loaded if you don't use all six. But if you want seven, unfortunately, you can only have six. The other thing about these exercises is you can tap on them. And then you'll see here if you have GPS available for a workout, it'll tell you whether it's connecting or connected. And it'll I believe this little icon tells you that it's using the built-in GPS since it's the watch. And it might have a phone icon if it's using your phone's GPS. And you can swipe up from the bottom. You can set a goal for a certain number of zone minutes, a certain distance, a certain amount of time, or a certain amount of calories. So like you can say, I'm going to go for a 30 minute walk, and then you can scroll and tap, things like that. 
You can also have heart zone notifications on or off. I find these very annoying and they use up battery, so I usually turn them off. But if you want those on, you would just tap here to turn them on. But that way you can have them on for certain exercises and off for others if you want to customize it that way. Again, if you want GPS on or off, you can turn that on here. You have to go into the Charge 5 settings though to change what GPS options you want. So I'll show you that in a moment because that might be useful also. And then you can also have always on display just for a specific exercise. So here it says keep the display on to see stats during exercise, but it does impact your battery. So you say got it. And if you decide you don't want that, you can turn that off. If you have the always on display on for your Charge 5 in the Charge 5 settings, I think it'll still be always on. Um, I'll have to test that, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. This is just if always on is not on on your Charge 5 before you start the workout. So I'll go ahead and show you this um, from the clock face. If you swipe up and continue swiping up to the settings and then swipe down to GPS, I believe, yes and then tap on GPS. Here you can see your different options. So you can use the built-in GPS always, which means it will always use the built-in GPS and never use your phone. You can switch to phone, which means it will never use the built-in GPS. So if you want to conserve your Charge 5's battery life, then you can set it to only use your phone's GPS or you can have dynamic. So what dynamic does is if your phone is in, within range, it will use your phone's GPS. If your phone is not in range, it will use the built-in GPS. So it's kind of nice that they do have all the options here. So you can make your choice and you can even change your choice depending on if you need to say battery or something like that. Um, so yeah, I think that covers pretty much the exercise shortcuts. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 5 how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.